compassion, we normally conduct health screenings every year for our registered beneficiaries. This uh, particular time, we did the screening and um, the dental cases came number two in our, in our list of the top conditions yeah, amongst our registered children. We decided we need to do something, something more than just what we have been doing, you know, referring children to their health facilities. Because dental cases are preventable and they are about hygiene. The first cluster that had the highest cases was Ishiara. In fact, the cases were 91%. Amongst uh, about 300 children per project, you know, 91% had dental cases. So that was very high. It was followed now by Kiambere, which had 48%. So out of, you know, out of every 100, you could get 48 children who are having dental cases. Then the year that had 47%. This project is called St. Paul's Cathedral Child Development Centre and it's located in uh, Embu Town. We have uh, 283 children who are sponsored by an organisation called Compassion International that works in partnership with churches. Health is very broad, I believe. Uh, if you know the World Health Organization definition of health, it is a, a state of well-being, total well-being of the body. That is physical, emotional, spiritual, social. So it encompasses so many things. If there is no change of uh, behavior, then even if you go in and treat people, then you will leave that community and leave them with the same problems. And one of the approaches is training. The children and the caregivers were not as uh, educated as far as dental hygiene is concerned. Uh, and, and that's one of the things that we've been able to do today. We learned about the dental formula. We have four sets of teeth, incisors, cannon, primary and molars, And we should take care of our teeth by visiting the dental clinic once in a year brushing our teeth twice a day and not eating sugary things. Number one objective was to uh, conduct health promotion, oral dental health promotion amongst our registered beneficiaries, their caregivers and also the church management committees. Number two was to conduct dental screenings, but this one was just uh, basically for the registered children. The major causes of dental problems, especially among the children, is hygiene. You'll find like a family would buy like toothbrushes for the father and the mother maybe and forget about the children because it's not really a priority. The other thing is to was to conduct now dental extractions for those children that uh, have uh, emergency dental cases and they require to be managed right there. So you don't have to wait for them to go for to the other hospitals. They can be managed there. Good girl. You have um, uh, other common problems of uh, crowding. We have malalignment of teeth. We, have, we actually had to do a bit of extractions to try and align some of them. And then the other problem was uh, staining. There is uh, some dirt on the teeth that needs to be cleaned. We have also referred that to have them cleaned at uh, the general hospital around here. The final thing was to empower the church management committees and the project staff to be able to monitor and evaluate the dental health cases in the, in the projects and also in the communities. It is our expectation that they are going to carry the information and spread it to the other uh, community members, the other children in school, so that it is not just going to be the compassion beneficiaries that are going to benefit from this exercise, but it is going to have like a ripple effect even in the community and the cases are going to come down. We may not see any effect immediately, but over time, as we do another campaign, probably in a year or two, 
we should be able to see some uh, positive effect. I think if we could keep uh, it going so that uh, don't have to reach the point where we need to do extraction because teeth are not meant to be extracted at any one point except those ones that are exfoliating naturally or those ones that uh, need to, uh, to be removed by the uh, dentist to create space. The future is that we are going to continue promoting oral health hygiene. So we may need to have more dental campaigns in the future, probably in the other clusters that are, have not been reached at this time, so that we are able to reach out to more beneficiaries. I would want to see this campaign repeated, even if not at the cluster level, at least at each project level, so that in the near future we have a community that is aware of the importance of their dental health and therefore minimize any other effects that come around because of dental uh, impairment. I would like to thank Compassion very, very much. Now that they feel this need to, uh, to enlighten our children and our parents, we really appreciate what they are doing. I really want to appreciate our sponsors. You know, the donors who give generously, Towards this campaign, for me, my, my, my prayers will go to them on behalf of the children that benefited and on behalf of the families that were reached out and the partners that were supported. For me, I would really appreciate their support. Let's continue taking care of our children. You know, if, if we educate them and we save one child, at the end of the day, it's a worthy cause. I want to compassion or something.